Jen here. So today we're going to make another book page wreath and this time we're going to use um, piano music. So I hope that you will enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to adjust my camera and we're going to get started right away. Alright guys, so the first thing I have is um, a music book and this one is Beethoven. And so we're just going to take this apart. So I wanted to show this to you because my last video we used a bound book and we used a, a razor blade to cut the pages out. But I wanted to show you guys how easy this is to just find the center of this book and just um, pick up the staples and we'll take it apart this way. Now that those are out, the pages should, should, there we go, come out easily. So I've got my staples out, and then I'm going to show you how we are going to work with these pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this page, and I'm going to cut it in half here. Now I think that the cones um, that we're going to make for this, this is too big. So what I'm going to do is fold this in half. And this gives me about the same size of book page I used in my Diary Hood book. And I'm just going to cut this in half again. Now, if you have a paper cutter, it'd be much easier than using scissors, but um, that's what we're doing here. Okay, so then you need a stapler and some tape, and we're going to make a cone. So I'm just going to take my page and kind of roll it over, bring this side over to the back. I want to tuck that page in, so then I have this nice cone. So what I'm going to do is take the end and about an inch in, I'm going to staple this. Okay, so you want your cone to be nice and pretty this way. And you're going to do this to all of your pages. Okay, so you just kind of, I kind of like put my fingers this way, roll this way. And you just want to make sure that your cone are about the same size as the last one. So I take again. Now I have my tape out so that if I am rolling and my corner doesn't happen to be on my staple, like maybe it's up here, I would tape that down so that my corner stays down. So you're going to get a bunch of little cones about this size here. And then I'm going to show you how to put them all together. So let me finish making my cones and then we'll move on. So like I said, you just need a bunch of these and then I'll show you what to do next. All right guys, so as normal, I have changed what I was going to do and I have decided that I wanted to paint these pages gold. I really just wanted to pop a color. So I, I tried painting just the inside of the cone and that wasn't working for me. So what I've done is I painted the whole thing with this Deco Art Dazzling Metallic in Emperor's Gold. I'm using my sponge brush and I've got my sponge brush just a little bit wet um, just to spread the paint a little bit easier. So these have dried. The paper is a little crinkly so if you don't like that I wouldn't paint it. But um, I'm going to roll these and if you notice I this roll would have left me with a pretty blank area here. So I'm going to roll this side to give me those music notes. And so I'm just going to roll this. And then my rolls are about 9 inches long. So I am just measuring this to make sure that one's a little bit tall. So I'm just going to scrunch it down a little bit. That's right, 9 inches. I'm going to flatten the end. And then I'm going to staple it about 1 inch up. And this is going to give me that nice pop of color that I want. I think it's going to look really pretty. 
So that's how I change this in the midst of getting things rolled. Um, I think it's pretty. I was actually, when I did my book wreath for the school library, I had a comment and someone had said, I commented on painting the insides, but I tried to paint just the inside and I thought, well, if it's, if the cone is sticking pretty far out, you're gonna be able to see all the way down inside and I don't want that. I wanna be able to see color all the way down inside. So that is what I have done. So I'm just flattening these. And I think I'll be able to get the whole wreath done with just um, one book. So I'm going to finish this now that I have showed you what I actually have done. And yeah, I think we're good. Uh, let me show you how to paint a page real quick. So you get the right texture here. So this is just one page. I actually spilled water on this one, so it's a little wet. But I've been taking one whole sheet like this and just putting some paint on a little tray over here. And then, like I said, my sponge brush is just a little bit wet, getting a little bit of paint and just spreading it out. You really just want that color. So if you can spread it, I don't like the streak marks. So I kind of take the side of my brush and kind of rub it in a little bit. Just because I don't like those streak marks. It does take a minute for it to dry, but it does dry rather quickly. You're just getting that metallic color on there. And I think it really looks cool because it's gonna weather it a little bit and make it look um, antique because of the gold color. You want to focus on the corners because that's where your color is going to come from on your wreath. You see, I'm just doing this real quick to spread it out. The thinner I spread it out, the more quickly it's going to dry. But it doesn't have to be perfect, of course. There's art and imperfection. But just like that, and so you're gonna do the whole page and then um, let it dry before you cut it apart. So I'm gonna finish up all of my cones and then I'm gonna show you how to make the, the base, the frame. All right guys, so this is a regular piece of foam board that I cut in half. I purchased it at the Dollar Tree and we're gonna make our um, frame for our wreath. So you want, this is the compass, you want to set it at four inches. If you've not used one before, it has a pointy end. You just kind of stick that in the foam board. Keep it at four inches. It's going to make you a beautiful circle. Okay, then leave it in the center and then mark it at half of that, so two inches. Okay, so this is our um, frame for our wreath. Then you need a marker, and you're gonna mark it um, in quarters. So you're gonna do it at the top and the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to give you a rough idea how many pieces you wanna put in between here. So you're both bar both mark both rings, sorry. Okay, and then we're ready to start putting some stuff on here. Now what we will do is we're gonna trim this extra off because all we need is the ring. So you don't want your corners to um, bulge out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it's loud when I, do, when I cut the board. But you just use your other scissors or X-Acto or whatever. So I'm gonna cut that and we'll get right back on them. Okay, now we're ready to start putting on our cones. So you're gonna use your hot glue gun And we're just gonna put the cones, let me grab my crate of cones here. <clears throat> and we're just gonna start, it really doesn't matter where you start, but we are gonna start on the outer ring. So I'm gonna actually, I think what I'm gonna do is just do four dots. And these will be my 
um, kind of my marker pieces, I guess. And you're gonna put the line where you're gonna put your staple. So wherever your staple was, that's where you wanna put your first piece. Okay, and now you can kind of lay in how many pieces you think will fit. And I made 50 of these, and I do have some more um, laying around here, so we'll see how many it takes. But I'm just kind of kind of counting right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's going to take five in there. Okay, so I'm just going to put a line of glue here. And start putting it in here. Now this one for some reason is not as is longer, but that's okay. Okay, so I have my five in there. That looks pretty full. I'm gonna rotate it to another line of glue. And this goes rather quickly, so I'm gonna do another five. I'm just putting that staple right on there. I think this one needs. For whatever reason, that went this one. They must have been a little skinnier. I think I need one more in there. Right here. You want it nice and full, especially that back piece, so you don't see the board. Okay, so I'm going to finish up going all the way around, and then when we get to the inner ring, I will show you how that works. Okay, now we're ready to move on to that inner ring. So we're going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to do my four dots of glue for my four cornerstones, if you will. And the same thing, your staple goes on the ring. And I'm just going to kind of make sure they're a little bit in between the ones on the outer ring. And now I'm going to do the same thing and just put that line of glue and stack these guys in there. Same thing over here. Rotate it, and then we're gonna fill in the middle. I did buy some little Christmas bulbs and things like that I found at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not, or if I'm gonna fill this in with pages. I would like to use them, um, just because I do have another um, person who would enjoy a music wreath, and so I do have them already cut, so it would be easier for me if I didn't have to cut anymore. <laughs> 
but we'll see. I'm running out of space here, then put some more glue. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're gonna go around the inside and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna put some glue. And this time you're gonna use the ends of your last cones as a guide. So again, you start at your Cornerstones here. So you're just filling up that inside ring. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to make sure you're going on the right one, but I think ultimately, I think I have the perfect amount of pages. If I were to stop right here, we'll see. My other one I did, mine did my book page wreath. I didn't put anything in the middle, because what I picked out to put in the middle, I ended up not liking. But, um, we'll see. Alright, so for this one, stick a little glue on the bottom side of this one because it's not laying down and kind of glue it to the page underneath just so that it will behave. There we go. Now it's behaving. This one's doing the same thing. It's not behaving very well. So I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom of it and glue it to the page underneath. And this little guy, he's popping up too. He wants all the attention. I'll glue him underneath. This one's it takes a lot of glue, guys. I'll tell you that. They don't want to. They don't want to pop up. They want to. They want to stand up on their own. So under this one. Okay, well this is what it would, looks like if you want to stop right here and then fill the middle with Christmas bulbs, which I'm going to look and see if that's what I want to do. So um, I bought these at the Dollar Tree and they had like the matte, the glossy, and the glitter and I got the gold and red. And then I liked this as well, but the colors don't really match. So this might go underneath just to kind of give it some height and some fill. And then I did get these little ones to fill in. All this came from the Dollar Tree. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of look to see if I would like this. Because the gold is more, this is more of a copper, I guess. And this is more of like a Christmas gold. So I just wanna see. I kind of like that. Or maybe I should just do red. I kind of like the way it landed in there too, did you? Kind of liked that. 
Um, let me see if maybe I just want to do red. Kind of give it like a, I don't know, poinsettia look. I'll come out of there. I think I kind of like just the red. So there would be some gold in there maybe. Decide what you'd like. I don't think I'm going to do the gold because this looks a little more coppery to me. But I do like the red and I kind of like how this all landed in here. I am going to use um, this at the bottom as a filler to kind of build it up a little bit. So let me do that real quick. And then we'll just throw these in here. So this is the fun part. You just get to put so much glue that you don't even, so much glue. Because you want it to, you want all those little balls to stick to everything. And then we'll place the ornaments where they need to go. They won't be willy-nilly. Okay. So I did want to try and use maybe the gold the most because I think it will blend in the most. So I'm just building it up to so that my ornaments won't be so deep in here. Oops. Those all look pretty secure to me. Okay, so now we're going to put our Christmas bulbs in. I'm going to get another glue stick. I shall be, I shall return. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start gluing in the bulbs. I think it looks pretty cute so far. I think I'm going to be happy with it. I'm just going to glue the bulbs in. And you want to use probably a good amount of glue for the bulbs. And I want to try and get where the um, gold pieces aren't showing. And you could take those off if you wanted to. I want a good mix of... Okay, well, those pop off pretty easily. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get a good mix of where they all are so they're not all bundled in together, the same color. I really don't want to see the ornament at the bottom, so anyway, I think this is going to look really cute, guys. I'm actually really, really happy with it. I was on the fence for a second. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure if I like these painted pages or not, but I think they turned out okay. I wasn't sure about it. I think the gold looks neat under there too. Because you can still see that filler a little bit. That's cute. I want to use all of these in here. And, um, I might use the gold on my other one that I'm going to make that doesn't have paint on it. So 
Sorry, this part. If you want to fast forward, my feelings won't be hurt. We're almost done. So this is just me decorating it. Figuring out exactly how I want to do all this stuff. Um, if you've not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. I try to comment on everyone when they are trying to reply to everyone who comments. I don't get to all of them. Sometimes you might just get a like. I do read them all. That I will promise you. I do read them all. And I take suggestions. So, uh, like I said, one of my uh, viewers had commented about painting the inside of the wreath. So, we tried it. And I think I like it. So I thank you for that. One more left here. I need to hold this up and see what it looks like to me. Make sure they all stick. That looks pretty cute. Alright, I'm going to sprinkle some of these in here. Whoa! Alright, so I'm going to just kind of put some glue where I think it needs a little bit more red. <laughs> stick them in here. Now, and then I'm going to dump this over and see which ones didn't stick. Got a gold ball in there somewhere. Okay. All right, folks. That is it. I'm going to put a hanger on the back of this. Pick up all these little glue pieces everywhere. Little piece of glue down in there. But I think it turned out really well. So let me um, put a little hanger on it. There's little pieces everywhere. And let's see here. I think this looks like it should be a good top. So this will be my top here. And what I'm going to do is just use a pipe cleaner because this is really lightweight being that it's only paper. And I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and at the ends I'm going to cross them and twist them. And then I'm going to just put the pipe cleaner here. And put some glue down. Put that in the glue. And then glue on top. Okay, we'll let that dry. And then we will be all set to show the finished product. Alright guys, so this is the finished product. I think it looks really cute. Um, I really like the way it turned out. I think it looks really Christmassy and elegant. And I think my mom is going to love it. I want to zoom in a little bit. You can really see those music notes popping. I think this looks great. So I hope you guys like this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.